Well, I'm in the Jeep and I'm headed out on another adventure. It's about lunchtime. Actually, I just got done putting new wheels and tires on the Subaru. That'll either be a video before this one or after this one. But anyways, headed out for a overnight camp trip. Not doing any back roads or anything because it's already lunchtime and I want to get there and get camp set up. But heading down to Fort Cobb in the WMA, just a primitive remote camping. May meet up with a few people and hopefully have a good time. As always, thanks for joining me on these adventures and let's go see what we get into today. Work hard, get dope. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. Miles inside these shoes so I don't stomp by tiptoe. Fell a thousand times, I still I roll no limp though. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. sir starbucks isn't this way <laughs> well i've made it to where i think i'm gonna camp tonight or thought i was gonna camp tonight um john's been out here driving around his uh starbucks crawler that honestly sees more back roads than probably any of us ever will <laughs> um he actually uses that thing which is awesome but anyways it's muddy um, so I don't know that I'll camp back here. We may drive around, check out a few spots and try to find somewhere not as muddy. Yeah, there's a couple of dry spots here, but honestly, I don't wanna walk around in the wet mud and my feet be cold all weekend. So let's drive around the lake and see what else we can find.
I'm out here at Fort Call Blake. Uh, filmed for a minute, me and John driving around. He just kind of came out, hung out for a little bit. He'd been exploring the area. But we hung out, talked a little while, and found a campsite here on the lake. This is part of the WMA. That's not too muddy. It's out of the wind. It's not ideal. There is some trash and stuff scattered around I'll have to pick up. But it's not horrible. And it's warm. It's sunny. And I'm gonna get camp set up. So I'll do a little time lapse here or something and let's get this camp set up and relax. I spent a little bit of time picking up camp. Um, got the tent and everything set up, but it's nice to be out again. It's been a little while. Um, today is a great example of why I do the things I do. I've received a couple messages and complaints about my trips. You know, sometimes I'm close to home. And this is a good example. This morning I got up and I had to go to the dealership, get my car aligned, because um, I was doing some mods to the Subaru. And I was able to go do that and still get out today. And 
Also, today's a good example of, you know, this morning it was foggy and rainy and nasty and like freezing cold. And now I'm out here, this hoodie's almost too much, the water is glass, the sun's up. I can sit at home and be miserable or I can come out here. You know, I could have stayed at home. I could have said, oh, I'm busy this weekend and the weather's bad. But I pushed myself to get out and that, that's how I get to enjoy these trips. I wish I had unlimited money and I could go on trips easier, but it's just not the way things work. I'm like everyone else, I have a job and I gotta make do with what I got. And like this, I'm out here at WMA. Yes, there's a small community right up the road. There's been some four wheelers out, you know, people riding down to the lake down here and just checking it out. And I can't blame them. It's one of the first nice days we've had in weeks. Like I would be doing the same thing if I lived here. But you've gotta take that into consideration you know, I may not be in the most remote place, I may not be in the quietest place, but I'm getting out. Weather's great, it, the wind has died down to almost nothing. I probably could have found a different spot, but sitting here, there's some birds flying around, I don't know, ducks or geese flying in formation. Water's nice. Got some ramen noodles for tonight, you know. It's hard to beat. I know this video is probably not gonna be some epic adventure because like I don't have a plan for today. I just wanted to get out and camp. Um, gonna test a few things, like I've got a different diesel heater I'm gonna test. The Vivor diesel heater that I've had forever, it works great, no issues with it, but the pump on it's loud and looking online, to replace it with a quieter, or at least I think quieter pump, was like 50 bucks, or I could buy a whole new heater for like $100. So, bought a whole new heater. Pump's quieter, um, so we'll see. I'll give it a go. I do have my Vivor as a backup, just in case, but either way, I think it's only supposed to get down to like 36 tonight, or something along those lines, so it won't be too cold. But, just gonna come out, test some gear, and just get out. It's been cold, it's been miserable. We've actually had a very rainy, icy, snowy, just kind of a whole mix of weeks. The last couple weeks have just been crappy. Haven't worked much because of that. So I'm out here. Free camping in the WMA as long as you have a fishing or hunting license and follow the rules and camp in certain spots and stuff. Um, but you got the good with the bad, you got trash sometimes. It is what it is. But it's nice getting out. It's been too long. I'm ready to get some camping trips under me. Been knocking out a few mods, getting prepared for upcoming trips. I've got Got a lot planned this year. I'd like to do some bigger stuff. So, we'll see. But, this is very much a budget trip out here in a free spot in the WMA. And brought ramen noodles and some pop tarts and crap. Nothing complicated, it's simple, it's easy. But hey, getting out and enjoying it. But enough rambling, I'm just gonna hang out and enjoy the moment. When the sun starts setting a little bit, I'll probably get the drone and stuff out, fly it around and get some shots. Um, nothing too epic, nothing too crazy, but should be a good camping trip and it's always nice to get out of the house, that's, that's for sure. Breath, don't drift away from me.
You best kept secrets underground oh. Your hand on my chest My heart beats for you I keep my arms out and hold you like So for supper tonight, I've got these Wicked Foods. Um, I saw them by the ramen noodles, I think, at Walmart. And basically, you remove the lid, add boiling water to the fill line, stir, stand five minutes. So bowl up some water, dump in here. This is the Punchin' Potatoes and Beans Chili Mac. Um, I got another flavor to try. They were cheap. Easy. Add a photo here so I can overlay. But figured it's worth a try. It's simple. No dishes. Let's give her a shot. And that burner is wigging out. Let me show you this. I think it's got some liquid flowing through the lines. It's wicked. Just running off my little cylinder there, but man, that's, I hope it don't blow up or something weird. Anyways, just doing simple, simple supper, because it's cold. I'm not going to lie, I may fire that diesel heater up as soon as it gets dark and lay up there and watch movies, because it's cold, my hands are cold. There's no shame in that. That sun drops, that temperature drops. We got some electric hand warmers here. These are pretty nice. Never used them, but that way I don't have to keep throwing away the others. Man, it's getting cold, that temperature dropping. But man, how cool is this? What a night to be out. Cooking a little food. Checking out the sunset. It's hard to beat. So I am boiling enough water to go ahead and put in both of these. I've got the spicy, smoky, dreamy Mac. It says macaroni in a dreamy smooth sauce with jalapenos, red pepper, and spring onions. And then this other one is the punchin' potatoes and beans chili mac. Two potato varieties and a blend of beans and a punchy chili sauce. Totally amazeballs. No, seriously, it says totally amazeballs. It's gotta be good. Either way, no dishes. I ain't gotta mess with it. See, they both say five minutes. Add water, stir, stand five minutes. The water is doing its thing. It's almost boiling. Water's boiling. I'm gonna kill this stove. Try not to burn myself. Because my hands are about frozen.
Not cheap because that's hot. It smells hotter than crap. I'm thinking it's going to be a spicy, spicy, spicy. Stirred. And now we're going to wait for five minutes. So, pictures for Instagram, and I don't do it for the gram. I think you can probably see me. Anyways, sunsets, man, Oklahoma, western Oklahoma, I still think we got the best sunset. My hands are cold. Oh man, these hand warmers are nice. I bought these just to try off Amazon. I've got them on low right now and that's nice, but there's two of them. They magnetic stick together. That way you got two pockets. I don't have very good circulation in my hands. So like right now my feet are a little cold but I haven't put on my winter socks. And I may not, I may just put them on when I go to bed. But my hands, the rest of me, weather's not bad right now. Oh. Hey Siri, set timer five minutes. Five minutes starting now. Fancy dancy stuff. In case you're wondering, I do have a root beer that I may or may not get, but I'm trying to finish this Dr. Pepper. But man, it's nice to get out. I know we're just now in the heart of winter and there's probably more cold weekends coming, but Feels nice to get out for a change. Those hand warmers, they're doing the job. Oh, that's warm. Yep. I don't know how long these will last. That'll be the big test on them. If they last long enough to be worthwhile. But it's part of what this trip is, is testing out gear. I don't know if you can hear in the background, but some four wheelers or something riding down to the lake. Probably people out fishing. I don't know, it could just be the local kids. It's one of the things about this, you know, getting out, yeah, there's primitive stuff way out in the middle of nowhere. But sometimes you gotta deal with what you got. Spot I'm in today, like I said, it's close to this community. And this is their life, so, you know, the lake is their life. They come down here and fish and check out the sunsets and stuff every day. So, and I'm coming into their community to camp, basically, if you look at it that way. Yeah, this is the WMA hunting, fishing land, but they live right up the road. So this is their backyard. But a little bit of noise here and there, no big deal. Of course, coming out here in the middle of the summer, it's gonna be a total different ball game, It'll be way busy, but here in the winter, like I, don't, I haven't seen anybody else camping and there probably isn't other people as crazy as me. Gonna attempt 
to get a shot of this in the light. So this is the punching potatoes and beans chili mac. It smells amazing if you had smell-o-vision. So I'm gonna try this one first. But I can almost guarantee you, it's spicy, spicy. But it, it's temperature-wise, it's warm and hot. Temperature-wise, it's hot. You know, I haven't ate a lot of rehydrated meals in my time. So maybe I don't know what's good and what's not. But this is good. It does have a kick to it. I'd say if you're not a spicy fan, don't get this. But overall, it's pretty good. Well, my mouth's on fire now. Uh, this is the spicy, smoky, dreamy Mac. Look at that sunset. If people wouldn't have just, you know, had random fires. Ow, my finger. But anyways, that's what this looks like. This actually a little thicker. This smells more like a mac and cheese. Yep, kind of like a watery mac and cheese. Honest opinion, I don't like this one as much. This one's a little more gritty. Yep, noodles didn't cook as much and there's not much else other than noodles and cheese in this one. Just a little bit of flavor. That other one had all kinds of vegetables and stuff. One of the other pieces of gear I wanted to try this trip is this heated vest. Your clothes get smaller too. Surely it's not just me. Oh, let's see here. You know, I charged the battery pack and then plugged it in. The battery pack has to be plugged in in order for it to work. Well, you know. So it's got three settings. And turn the lighting on or off. So it's also an Amazon thing. I don't even know if you can see me. I may have been out of frame the whole time. But anyways, trying out the vest here. It's small enough that I could wear it underneath my coat. And it may stretch out some with you. But I don't know if I can feel it working or not, but I'm pretty comfortable. Peaceful, peaceful night. Well, it's a little chilly. Got food in my belly. I think at this point, I'm gonna fire the diesel heater up, crawl up in the tent, and probably watch some YouTube. I didn't set up any time lapses or anything. Just kind of been lazy this trip, honestly. But I'll still make something of this video. But I think at this point, I'm gonna pack up some of my stuff. That way I have less to pack up in the morning. 
because I'm probably going to head home and try to get a few things done in the morning. But I'll pack up a few things. I'm going to fire the diesel heater up and crawl up in the tent and probably watch a movie or something. So if you don't see me again until tomorrow, this is it for today. You can see here, the lake is still frozen from the winter weather we've had lately. It's pretty crazy. I got packed up hit a few back roads on the way home um, I know it was a short video but I had some projects to do at home and just took the time I had and still made do and got out so thanks for joining me on this adventure be sure and like and subscribe and come join me on some other adventures in the future as always there's still another mile left to explore I'll see you on the trail